Ever get that feeling like your brain's stuck on a hamster wheel? Just going and going. Yeah, I think we all know that feeling. Well, today's deep dive might just have the ticket to hop off that wheel. <laughs> We're tackling mandala meditation. Intricate patterns, ancient traditions. And a surprising path to finding some peace in our, shall we say, lively world. Sounds intriguing, right? It totally is. Yeah. So first things first. What exactly is a mandala? Imagine like a circle, but inside there's this whole intricate, colorful design. Often radiating out from a central point, almost like a visual explosion of symmetry. Exactly. And it's more than just a pretty picture, right? Our sources describe it as a visual representation of the universe itself. Like, whoa. Exactly. Harmony, balance, it's all represented visually. And the really cool part is mandalas have deep roots particularly in Tibetan Buddhism. For centuries, they've been used as tools for meditation, helping people tap into a sense of tranquility and focus. Okay, so we're talking serious history here, but let's bring it down to earth for a sec. I was reading Emma's story in one of our articles and it really resonated. She was up to her eyeballs in schoolwork, stressed to the max. As we all have been. Right, total empathy there. Anyway, she decided to try coloring in a mandala just on a whim. And afterwards she told her friend, it was like a weight had been lifted just from focusing on those intricate details. I love that. And it's not just a nice story. There's actually science behind this. Mm -hmm. Studies have shown that focusing on these intricate details in a mandala can activate certain parts of the brain. Wait, really? So it's like a mental workout then, in a way. Exactly. Like giving your brain a gym session. But instead of, you know, lifting weights, we're training our minds to be more present. And the source even talks about mandala meditation, enhancing our awareness of the present moment. Okay, so we've talked about focus, but this mindfulness thing, this is where it gets really interesting. It's more than just relaxing on the couch, right? It's about like really being aware of ourselves, our surroundings, everything. Absolutely. Mindfulness is about being fully present in the here and now. No judgment, just experiencing things as they are. And the fascinating thing is, by focusing on something external like the mandala's design, you actually give your mind something to latch onto. And that, in turn, can quiet those racing thoughts, those to-do lists, and really bring you into the present moment. You know, now that you mention it, I've totally caught myself doodling during meetings or like zoning in on a pattern when things are hectic. Never thought of it as a mindfulness exercise, though. Have you ever found yourself doing something similar? Oh, absolutely. We all have our own little ways of finding calmness, right? But I think what this deep dive really challenges us to do is be more intentional about it. How can we actually integrate these simple practices, like spending a few minutes with a mandala, into our everyday routines? Yeah, because who couldn't use a bit more peace and focus, right? So, to wrap up our deep dive into mandala meditation, I think the biggest takeaway is that something as simple as a visual pattern can be a surprisingly powerful tool. For both focus and a peace. Totally. But here's a final thought for everyone listening. If art can be a gateway to mindfulness, what other unexpected connections between creativity, well-being, all of that might we be missing out on? Something to think about. Definitely. Until next time.